61A, lecture number eight. Announcements. Project one is due on Thursday, but you get an early bonus point for submitting on Wednesday. And I've just learned that the lab assistants are organizing an impromptu project party in the Stern Main Lounge Stern Hall in Unit 4, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. on Wednesday. That's tonight. Midterm 1 will be next Monday from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. We'll have two review sessions over the weekend, back-to-back -back on Saturday from 3 to 4.30, and then from 4.30 to 6 in one Pimentel. They're the same, so you don't need to go to both. There will also be a review session run by HKN, a student group on campus. And that was originally announced for Saturday at around the same time, but I think they're moving it to Sunday. Time and location to be determined. The midterm will include topics up to and including this lecture. It's a closed book, closed note exam, except for one page of handwritten notes, front and back, and a study guide, which is a single page front and back printed guide provided by the course staff that gives you all the key slides from the course. That will be released imminently. If you cannot attend the midterm, that's very bad. You should fill out a conflict form by today letting us know. You can find that conflict form on Piazza or on the announcement section of the main website. Fill it out today, and if you have a course conflict with the exam, then I'll let you take it the next day instead. Final announcement, we're starting an optional, but pretty fun, hog strategy contest. So as the final strategy of your hog gets better and better, you can see how it compares to other people's strategies in the course. All this involves is submitting a hog final strategy, might be the same one that you created and submitted with your project, or you can refine it over the next couple of weeks because this is not due until October 1st. In addition to a final strategy, you must come up with a single bid that you bid in order to decide who goes first in each match. The hog contest rules are, that up to two people can submit one entry, so you can continue working with your same partner or find a new partner for the contest. But each person can only be involved in one entry. Your score for an entry is the number of entries against which you win more than 50% of the time. Now, how do we compute how often you win against another entry? Well, we do it with a technique that computes that win rate exactly instead of sampling it by just randomly playing games. I'll tell you a little bit more about how we do that later in the course. But the point you should keep in mind is that the luck of the dice will not determine the winner of this contest. Instead, it's the best strategies that will prevail. All strategies must be deterministic pure functions of the current player scores, your score and your opponent's score, just like the strategies that you've built as part of your project. And all winning entries will receive not one but two points of extra credit for the course, which is not much, but you win an even greater prize, which is honor and glory, and a place on every version of this slide that I will ever make. Here are the winners from fall 2011, the winners from fall 2012, from fall 2013. The winners of fall 2014 have not yet been determined, but when I teach this class in the future, your name could be on this slide if you win the hog contest. Further details will appear on the course website very shortly.